Hey, welcome to the Shreveport Connection with Tommy. This video is going to be about the TNA Victory Road 2012 pay-per-view results. And off we go straight into the pay-per-view. I have no other wrestling news for this. This episode and the TNA tapings will be done tomorrow night. Expect a return from Rob Van Dam and some other news as well. Well, Victory Road starts off with a video package of the No Holds Barred match, setting up the Sting and Bobby Roode match, main event. And they go to the Impact Zone with Mike Tanay and Taz on commentary. And they go to the ring, and out comes Bully Ray. He de he's demanding that he is, he is, he is host taking hostage over the, the pay-per-view tonight. And he came out to the crowd. He says he is trending worldwide because he's holding the pay-per-view hostage. He says the fans get nothing tonight unless he gets what he wants. His match with James Storm to be a number one contenders match. The match is a squash match. James Storm's music hits and out he comes. The match only lasts like as soon as the bell rings. One, two, three. And here's how here's how it comes. Well, Thor came out, and they go right at it. The winner will face Bobby Roode for the world title at lockdown. Ray drank uh, some of Storm's beer, but turns around. Last call, super play, uh, super kick. One, two, three. Match over. TNA X Division title match. Zima Ion versus Austin Aries. They go to the ring out first. Comes the challenger, Zima Ion. TNA X, X Division Champion Austin Aries was out next. Uh, the match starts with Zima slapping Aries. Uh, Zima goes to the floor to stall. They finally got, go at it back in the ring. Lots of back and forth action to start the match. Aries ended up on the floor. Zima hit the moonsault from the top out on the floor. Zima rolled Aries back into the ring and covered him with a two count. Zima mocked Aries and went for a big elbow, but elbow drop, but Aries rolled out of the way. So he eats the match. Aries got up, beat down Zima in the corner, more back and forth action, Aries drop Zima and hits the big elbow drop for a close two count. Zima came back and took Aries to the top, Aries ends up power bombing Zima back to the mat, going on to get the win with the Brain Buster. And then they get a video segment of the Motor City Machine Guns returning, coming soon. Then they showed a video airing for tonight's tag team mat title match. Matt Morgan and Crimson versus Magnus and, Sam uh, and Samoa Joe. Shame on you, Samoa Joe. Huh? Uh, not really. Uh, well, the report says Austin Aries won the match. So he's not, that was a misprint there. Uh, Mo Morgan starts out things with on Magnus. They go back up. I guess up to the top rope, and Crimson tags himself in. Morgan it wasn't happy, but leaves the ring. Magnus goes to work on Crimson, but Crimson puts, his, puts him in a headlock. Crimson with offense now, until they go, go to the corner, more back and forth, until Magnus hits a big clothesline. Magnus takes Crimson to the corner and tags in Joe. Joe unloads on Crimson in the corner with the referee backing him off. Everyone has been wondering what Angle will, will do with its Outsize cash reserves. Currently, it's just under $100 billion. Tomorrow, the company will hold a conference called to tell the world what it will be. Tim Cook, Apple CEO, and Peter Oppenheimer will host a conference call. I guess they had a, uh, a an interference in the uh, pay-per-view. All this uh, we uh, we didn't get to see tonight. My partner was uh, here, but he didn't didn't want to be in the video, so I'm giving it by myself. Uh, Joe hits a big knee drop and takes Crimson back to the corner, tagging in Magnus. Crimson goes to the floor and comes back in with a shot on Magnus. Crimson took control as the fans chant for Morgan to be tagged in. Magnus fights back, but Crimson hits him with a big spine buster. Crimson covers for a two as Morgan begs for the tag. Crimson with a submission now. Magnus finally clotheslines Crimson and takes him down. Magnus tags in. Joe, as Crimson argues with Morgan, 
Joe will unload, unload the curtain and moves as he comes off the top. Joe with a snap slam and a two count. Joe throws Kirtland to the corner and Morgan tags himself in. Morgan hits the Mac Magnus and Joe. Joe goes down with a knee. Morgan hit Magnus in the corner, but the champs regain control with double teaming. Joe with a backsplash and a two count as Crimson starts to walk away from the match. <coughs> Morgan has words with Crimson from the ring. Morgan turns around and, and fights the champions by himself. Crimson runs in the ring and lays Morgan out with a spear. Crimson says he's the undefeated winner and Morgan is just a loser. So that's the end of their, that tag team faction. Joe and Magnus hit a double team move for the win. And retain the tag team titles. Hey, backstage segment with Jeremy Borash. He apologizes for the earlier incident uh, with uh, Eric Bischoff and takes a shot at him. Bobby Roode comes in to talk about his match with Sting as, the, as they take a fan question. And this is the part where we walk, come, come into the pay-per-view. Roode goes on about James Storm and talks about him and about lockdown until Storm appears. Storm says he's not looking for a match at lockdown. He's looking for a fight right now, right here. Oh, then we go to the ring. Out comes CNA Exhibition Champion Robbie E for an open challenge. He's got Rob Terry with him. Apparently, there's no wrestlers in the back to answer the challenge. So, so a fan is going to be picked, so he says. Well, a fan starts running down through the crowd. But it's not just a fan. It's not just any fan. It's not the fan in your pocket, the one you fold, fold up when you're hot <laughs> at the events. It's none other than Devon Dudley. He ends up answering the challenge. De Devon comes out in jeans and unloads on Robbie. He tosses the champ to the floor after a big clothesline. Devon uh, sent, was sent to the floor and worked on Ro uh, worked Ro uh, Robbie over. Devon stares down, uh, stares down with Robbie. Robbie grabs a chair, but Brooke Hoven, who was at ringside, and then announcer said, uh, I think it was Taz and Tanae both said, well, Hoven's somewhere around ringside. But apparently he wasn't even, he wasn't there. Well, she, gra uh, she grabbed the, the chair and stopped him. Robbie brought the, the action back to the ring, and Devon, uh, he covered Devon for two. Devon comes back and hits the neck breaker and a splash in the corner. Clotheslines by Devon. Terry gets on the apron, but Devon sends him to the floor. Devon hits the spine buster on Rude for the win in the title. Winner and new TNA television champion, Brother Devon. Oh, my brother, testify, as he says as he's leaving the ring. All right, we go. We got a backstage segment with Jay, uh, Jeremy Boyce and Dixie Carter. Dixie announces that this year's Cyberverse pay-per-view will be held in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. JB asks about tonight's main event, and Dixie says she she trusts Sting. She will be at ringside to support him. She talks about Rude disrespecting her and spitting on on her, and and also disrespecting TNA and the fans and everyone else. She hopes it ends tonight. Then they get a promo video for tonight. Knockout title match, and it's up next. Madison Rain retain, uh, uh, loses to Gail Kim. And this is how it happens. We go to the ring. Out first comes Madison, followed by the knockout champion, Gail Kim. They lock up, and actually, they actually shook hands before the match. And then they lock up and start pulling. Earl Hebner pulls them apart, and they have words. They can't fight some more as they go to the corner. Gail comes out of the corner and keeps control. Gail with a big clothesline and a, and a two count. Suplex. Uh, Madison charges in the corner, but Gail moves. Madison ends up pushing Gail from the apron into the barrier at ringside. Madison brings it back in the ring for a pin attempt. Gail with a roll up for a, a two count. Madison takes it back into the corner and chokes Gail with her boot. Madison charges again, but Gail kicks her. Madison comes back with a drop kick and a bridge suplex for a two. Gail fights, her to, uh, fights back to her feet, but Madison slams her back to the mat. Gail slams Madison on her face and takes out her knee. More back and forth action. Gail with a crossbody from the second rope for a two. Gail with a spear in the corner and a missile drop kick from the top. Gail covers for two. 
Gail goes for the eat and defeat, but Madison counters and tries to roll her up. More back and forth for a few seconds. Madison hit a neck breaker for a two count. Madison blocked the, uh, the eat and defeat again. It slams Gail on her face. Madison with more offense and another two count. Gail comes back out of nowhere and, and, eat, and hits the eat the feet for the win. Back takes Hammett with uh, Daniels and his partner Kazarian. Dan, uh, Jeremy Morris is uh, back there with him for the interview and he's ac actually ac it's asking Kazarian a question. Daniels interrupts and says, Mr. Anderson and AJ Styles will pay for the mistakes they have made. Before walking off. And he said, why are you talking to Kazarian when I'm the, the main event of this tag team? Got a promo video for the next match. Mr. Anderson. Anderson. Wait for it. AJ Styles and Kazarian and, uh, versus Kazarian and Daniels. This match, actually, I did not get to see. The ending as the, the pay-per-view feed dropped off the air. Well, the match started off, and first out comes AJ with his partner, Mr. Anderson, out next. Does his normal ring introduction, Mr. Anderson, nothing else. Anderson does his usual entrance before coming to the ring. Anderson starts uh, things out with Kazarian as they go lock up. Uh, like I said, the feed cut comes out and back in. At that point, Anderson and Styles are double taming Kazarian. AJ remains in and keeps control until Kaz dumps. Dumps uh, him to the apron. AJ tries to fight back, but Daniels locks him in, locks him in the corner, uh, locks him to, knocks him to the floor. Daniels works over AJ on the floor before rolling him back in. Daniels comes in and keeps up the attack on AJ. Daniels drops him for a quick pin attempt. Daniels with a drop kick and another two count. More offense from Daniels. Uh, by the way, Daniels is uh, doing the baseball theme with the black eye uh, paint. Oh. <laughs> And what have you in his normal ring attire. More offense for Daniel before an abdominal stretch. Daniel's hip tosses uh, a hip toss on Daniels, but uh, runs a, into a big kick from, uh, from the corner. Daniels keeps control of AJ and kicks him in the ribs hard. Daniels with another pin attempt before tagging in Kaz. AJ countered the double team move and close on Daniels. AJ hits a pele on Kaz and as Anderson want, waits for the tag. Anderson comes in with offense, but gets stopped by more double teaming. Anderson blocks him, goes for the mic check on Kaz, but Daniel stops it with a STO. And by the way, Anderson's got a brand new T-shirt. It actually glows in the dark, and he's got the giant microphone hand that comes down as his T-shirt. Okay, well, uh, like I said, uh, Daniels with a pin attempt before tagging in Kaz. The counter double team move. C uh, close lines Daniels. AJ hits a, a Pele on Kaz. As Anderson waits for the tag, Anderson comes in with offense and gets stopped by more double teaming. Okay, the, uh, Daniels stops, the, stops it with an STO. AJ springboards in and takes out Daniels. AJ hits Kaz in the corner. AJ goes for an inverted DD2 on, on Daniels, but gets kicked in midair. AJ went down again on the floor by Daniels. Anderson runs the ropes and tags himself in and AJ tags himself in AJ comes in but Kaz grabs him AJ counters fade to black and hits the Styles Clash AJ rolls Kaz over for the pin and the win fade to, so the faces win okay Jeremy Boris backstage with Kurt Angle Angle wants to, his son to watch his hero Jeff Hardy get beat tonight Angle rips into Hardy's look and everything we get a promo video for the Hardy versus Angle as the feed was coming in at that point. Kurt Angle versus Jeff Hardy was up next. They go to the ring side. Uh, they go to the ring and out co first comes Kurt. Jeff Hardy is is out next and uh, as he greets all the fans at ringside, this waste is about five or six minutes, including Brooke, Brooke Hogan. Hmm. Bell rings and they finally lock up. They go to the corner and Angle puts a put. Angle puts his hair before they break. Actually, pulls his hair before the break. They lock up because uh, uh, during uh, the uh, segment earlier in the, in the evening, uh, that uh, Angle was saying that uh, Jeff is not even a man because he's got long hair. <laughs> he looks more like a woman than anything, so he pulls his hair. Well, okay. Well, they lock up again, and Hardy uh, goes for a headlock. Hardy drops Angle with a shoulder and sends him out to the floor to get regrouped. 
More back and forth on the ropes, but Hardy drops Angle again, sending him back to the floor. Angle comes back in, and Hardy takes it to the mat. Angle wrestles him on the mat, and they trade holds. Angle ends up back on the floor, and Hardy drop, kicks him in the barrier. Hardy comes off the apron with a shot to the back of Angle's head. Hardy slams Angle's face into the apron and the barrier. Angle rolls back into the ring and stomps and punches away on, on Hardy as he comes back in. Angle kicks Hardy on the mat and rubs his face in the uh, his face paint in. Hardy uh, makes a comeback and hits a series of moves for a two. Hardy takes the fight back to the floor. Angle takes Hardy out and crashes hard into the barrier. Angle comes back in the ring as the referee begins to count. Hardy is, back, is brought back in and Angle gets a two count. Angle works over Hardy some more and the crowd chants for Hardy. Angle with a suplex and another two. Angle with another submission. Hardy starts to make a comeback. But Angle hits him with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex for another two. Hardy fight, fought back. But Angle stops him, and Angle runs it, runs boots into the corner, and Hardy close eyes him. Uh, they get up and trade shots in the middle of the ring. Hardy drops Angle with a uh, clothesline and elbow. Hardy with a flying forearm. Hardy comes out of the corner with a whisper in the wind, but Angle kicked out of two. Hardy went for the twist of fate, but it's blocked. Angle hit the, the trio of German suplexes and then waits for Hardy to get up. Angle goes for the Angle Slam, but it's blocked. Hardy hits a twist of fate. He goes up to the top, but Angle runs up and throws him back to the mat. Classic Angle there. Angle with a close two count, more back and forth. Angle ends up on the floor. Hardy slams Angle's head into the steps several times and brings it back into the ring. Hardy goes back up to the top. Angle runs up, but Hardy... Knocks him to the mat. Hardy comes down from the top. But Hardy pull, puts his knees up. Angle with an angle slam for two. Angle is bleeding from the, from the shot to the steps now. <clears throat> angle goes for another angle slam, but it's countered with a twist of fate. Hardy hits a pair of clotheslines and then de delivers an insecurity kick. Hardy hits hard on the, sw uh, on the swan time, but Angle uh, counters the pin. Angle rolls Hardy up and uses the ropes leverage to get the the illegal pin victory. <sighs> okay, and now for your main event, the no holds barred crap. Sting versus Bobby Roode. Tonight's main event, not non title match. Back and forth action until until Sting <laughs> takes control. Sting beat Roode down and gets a you still got it chant from the crowd. Uh, Rude tried to leave up the ramp, but Sting stopped him with a clothesline after he got up to like an eight count. Uh, Sting ran up after him, brought him back to the ring. Sting brought Rude to ringside and slams him into the steps. Sting continues to beat down Rude around ringside. Rude turns around and hits Sting with chops in the right hand. Sting blocks a chair shot and slams Rude into the barrier again. Sting splashes Rude on the barrier and into the crowd he goes. Sting brings him back over to, to the ringside and rolls him in the ring. Rude begs Sting to take it easy. Rude takes out Sting's knee and slams it in, into the ring post. Which I thought he was going to actually uh, put the uh, deliver the, the figure four on the outside. Well, I guess my prediction was wrong on that one. Rude dropped the elbows on Sting's knees and now works him over. Rude kept control and hit some more chops. Rude backs Sting in the corner and ta taunted him. Rude with right hand, Sting blocked the blocked the uh, uh, thing and went for a backslide for a pin. Only got a two count. Rude came back and goes to work on the knee again. Rude applies the figure four in the middle of the ring. Sting's shoulders drop for a two count, but Rude keeps keeps the hold hold locked in. Uh, Rude breaks the hold and we get more back and forth. Rude chopped him, but he, it doesn't hurt Sting as he's stinging up. <laughs> Uh, thing and uh, let's see. Sting made a comeback and hit a pair of clotheslines and a backdrop. They both end up on top and Sting hits a superplex. Rude makes another comeback and Sting's he takes uh, Sting's leg out in the ring. Rude brings a steel chair in the ring and, and set it up. They trade shots and Sting breaks uh, Rude. In, Brings Rude in from, uh, from the apron. Sting hits the death drop. And not seeing the chair is the back of his head. Nailed the chair and he's knocked out cold himself. He hits the 
He hit the back of his head on the chair, rude, and took advantage and covered him for the win. So was it a botch? Don't know. Because at the point, I just uh, turned my head for something else I was uh, doing and playing the WWE 12 game. Then download some other characters and what have you. Anyways, well, after the match, Rude uh, got the win, of course. Rude goes to the ringside where Dixie Carter is, drags her in the ring, picks up a steel chair, stares at her before sliding it into the ring. Rude pulls Dixie in from the crowd, rolls her into the ring. The crowd chants for Hogan. Hogan, Hogan, Hogan. And Dixie tries to check on Sting. Rude yells at Dixie and calls her a bitch. Rude backs Dixie into the corner and she pleads on her knees. He grabs a chair to turn around like he's going to hit hit her and then hit Sting. But he doesn't do it. Rude backs Dixie into the corner again and gets in her, in, in her face. Well, he's saying it to her face. Rude uh, duct tapes Sting to the bottom rope with both arms. Like, you know, one arm here, one arm there. As Dixie uh, is uh, trying to undo, do, undo the tape. Rude grabs the chair again as Dixie tries to get the tape off of Sting's wrist. Rude continues taunting Dixie. Puts his hand over her face. Which is uh, like on the mat now. Victory Road goes off the air with Rude still yelling at Dixie and Dixie crying. And that ends my TNA pay-per-view for this year's Victory Road pay-per-view. And as usual, tomorrow night will be Raw, Impact, Superstars, and whatever else I can think of or find with the dirt sheets. Stay tuned. See you all next week tomorrow night.